In this video, we're going to set background colors using CSS. So, I got a basic, uh, I have a basic HTML page here and a simple div, uh, complete with a H1 back, uh, heading and paragraph. And of course, you have the body of every HTML page. All these elements you can put backgrounds on. So, the first thing we need to do. Is I'm going. I'm going. To orig I'm going to set the styles in the heading here, and then we'll move them to the CSS style sheet after we're done. So, let's get started. And one thing we want to do is we want to give this div. Because right now, let me save this. I'll show you what happens. If we view this in a web browser, it's just going to maintain the space of the text and there's really no definition to it so we're going to give it some padding and margin real quick just to shape it up a little bit so we're going to go div the element div and we'll give it a width let's say 80% And we'll give it a margin all the way around, say 50 pixels. And we'll give it a padding of 25 pixels all the way around. If I don't do this, you're not going to be able to see the backgrounds right. So let's we'll start with that. So let's take a look. And you noticed that it's changed it a little bit. So all these elements, the body, the paragraph, the H1, and uh, the div itself, they all can have background colors. And you can do background colors with two different type of properties. You can use the background property by itself, or you can do the, use the background hyphen color by itself. So let's start with, on this div, uh, no, let's start with H1. Say background blue, and you'll notice that the background turned blue there. Let's give the paragraph the background color. So we'll go P, and we'll give it some padding so we'll be able to see it. And we'll use the property background color instead of background this time. If I could type. And we'll make that red. And we'll, of course we'll save it. And there you see it turned red. Now you also use this on classes. Let's give the div a, a background color, and we're going to change it to an RGBA color, so we'll go ahead and comment out this. We're going to use a class to do this, and we're going to call that class box. And we're going to get box a padding. And we're going to give it a background RGBA color. I messed that up, didn't I? G R O U. Boy, I cannot spell. Background. R G B A. We'll paste that right in here. Get rid of these two things on the end. And now, the final thing we need to do is add that class to our div. And we'll put box right there. So this will give us some opacity. See how we lighten it up right there by using the RGBA color. And this can be, these all can be applied actually in line right on each element, but that's a lot of work. 
and the recommended method would be to go ahead and take all this stuff right here and put it in the style sheet that I have attached here so it'd be right here and just so you can see see the, how this works I go back here and save this cut that out all right so we're gonna go in here put all our styles in here into a style sheet save it and there we have all of our background colors right there that's all there is to add in background color to HTML using CSS